Yo, what it do? This your boy DJ Head One, aka Tisco. You are tuned into the Tree House Talk Show. You know what I'm saying? What we got going on for y'all tonight is bartenders gone wild. We got my dog Christy in the building. What's up? You know what I'm saying? She's gonna be helping me out with the whole city tonight. Want to know? Do mobile clubs sell fake liquor? So I got my dog to come in. You know what I'm saying? She done worked at a lot of clubs in mobile, and we're gonna see what she has to say. So the question is, Christy. Do Mobile sell fake liquor or do they sell watered down drinks? They sell watered down drinks and they do they imitate uh, the good liquor with cheap liquor. I, I figured that because you know like when I be buying my Patron or, or Hennessy, they are very distinctive liquors and I can tell when they get fucked up with water or anything because they right. just distinctive like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you do the shots of the, of the Patron and you put the salt on your hand and stuff. All the combination, it don't go together no more. When if the shot watered right. down, it be fucked up. And I hate when in the club you do Hennessy, you ask for a Hennessy and Coke, and they fix you a Hennessy and Pepsi. Why would a bartender do that? That's what they have on hand. I mean, <laughs> don't you think that they should tell us that? They should yeah, they should tell you that because not all of them carry Pepsi products. Some carry Coke products. Some carry Pepsi products. It depends on what the bar. Stouts, just like some of them do have the little stout thing, is whoever comes in and refills their stuff. But some, like some clubs, they have the cans. They they pour out of cans or the two liters, and they should let you know which they have before they make your drink, just in case you don't want that and you want to switch it up, because that stuff does taste different. I I be feeling like that. Sometimes I think that the chasers be cheap too can fuck your drink up. Oh yes. You know what I'm saying? And why don't they care about these things? They don't. Do they think that we be so drunk that we don't care anymore? Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what it is. And they really don't care as long as they're But I don't know they know but clubs, y'all don't know out there. We actually be talking to our friends about our drink. I be like, girl, my motherfucking drink so fucked up. Like for real. Like who fixed this sex on the beach? This shit tastes like sex on the shit. You know? <laughs> who sex on the shit, goddamn. Who let me get two sex on the shit. <laughs> who the you know, so clubs and bartenders, we talk about your ass bad and, and yeah, you know, so listen. Do are there any clubs in Mobile that sell fake drinks or watered down drinks? Yes, there is. Oh, oh, I want him, goddamn it. Okay, well the the clubs that are open at this point, I know for sure Brandy's. I question Browns. No, Brandy, that's like my stock. That's like what like, you know, like you know. I thought they got like a two dollar Tuesday type thing going on. All them liquors at the top. Well, it, it, they on do. the top shelf, you got the bottom shelf. They actually have the top shelf and the bottom shelf. Well, maybe on, on, on two dollars two, they serve the smaller cups, and maybe it's a little more stronger or something. But no, no, there's a funnel in the back, and the little, uh, and there's a closet in the back, and there's shelves where they keep like the extra liquor so, or whatever. But it's cheap liquor, and they're reusing the bottles of. Syrup. Well, don't you think that should be like a a health issue when somebody's reusing to open the bottle back to back? The ABC boy, don't I they? I think so, especially when they got gnats flying all over the bar. They sure do. That's right. That's right, Mobile. And clubs, they do have gnats. Le that liquor, is, it's got sugar in it, and it draws gnats. It, it, it got sugar in it, it draws gnats to it. And with these club owners, refilling these containers, they're going to get somebody sick. Well, some of y'all probably go home and get sick anyway. You wonder why you ain't had a drink, and next thing you know, you're throwing up. I only had one drink. I only had one drink. <laughs> but the ABC boy, y'all, I promise y'all, they do come around and check for this shit, and they get graded for this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I guess the the number at the bar. They check they check the liquors on the bar. They yeah. don't, don't really go through the liquor that's in storage. So after that club right there, who else you have? You have I question Browns. Browns a little bit. Yeah, because I've been there I mean, one or two times. Now, see, I work there, and it it's like. You know they have the clickers and the and the big the big gallons of liquor sit up there. Uh -huh. And when he goes to change them out, he'll go to the back, but it's never full. Like he opened up a fresh one, it's always half full. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's one thing that y'all need to watch out for when you, when you go <laughs> to the. If he's buying smaller bottles and pouring them in there. Nah, you know, but you gotta be correct, ladies. When y'all, ladies and fellas, you go to the club. Check them bottles out when they when they run out, you know. You gotta look at all that, you know, because that's what this interview is about. It's about how to dodge a fake drink or how to dr dodge a water down drink. Right. So, any other clubs you got going on? Now, as far as now, latitude, they open their bottles fresh. No, that's why. That's but, why. That's why I work at. They they pour. They they, they, they they if you watch the bartenders, they squat down from the in front of the uh, ice well, 
and there's a little triangle table there. And uh -huh. I watched them sit there and pour the the well the well vodka and stuff into the drinks instead of what they asked for up there. I have waitress and I have went up there and asked them for like some rock or absolute shots, straight shots. And they'd get down there. And well, I have them. seen that happen done before. So you're saying that's like on some slick, fast type yes. shit. You know what I'm saying? So so we ain't talking about, oh, they actually do put different name brands in different name brands, but, but they actually the put water. Are the, the ones that's on the back wall is fresh open. I, I work there. I... But but I know um, that if you ordered that, you had to watch them because they'll come down here and pour if they were busy. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, most of my drinks, they do taste watered down sometimes. Yeah. I think I get a most a watered down drink dinner because I drink cheap I mean, liquor. I can drink Taco Vodka, Twenty Twenty. Cheap liquor get you fucked up too. I know, but that's the stuff's gonna be headache. But when you pay for, okay, I don't get headache. Everybody don't get headache. Everybody. I mean, as far as like, if you drink too much any liquor, you'll get a headache. Yeah, but if you're used to one liquor, you're not gonna get a headache as fast <laughs> as the cheap liquor. <laughs> so and, and the, uh, as far as like them, as far like okay, they'll 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 pour the cheap liquor in the bottles before you know. You and I, I figure that too because we can't see. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. What are some things that they can trick you with with the Hennessy? What can they put in place of the Hennessy? They really put any kind of brown liquor in there. Well, name some brown liquors so I can Kentucky know. Kentucky whiskey, Canadian Kentucky Lee. whiskey. I'm like they do a, like whiskeys as far as kind. That whiskey shit. Now, I'm I've seen that. a lot of Kentucky whiskey. With yeah, that whiskey the shit. Brandy. That that whiskey but, shit. Like the, they have they have like a lower grade like anything lower grade they have um you know E and J is not expensive. Uh -huh. At all, but I like ENJ. That should be a regular good, drink anyway. But when you're paying, you when you paying for ENJ, that's a three dollar drink at Brandy's. But you're getting it for your five dollar drink up here at um when after. Fuck's five dollars seven fifty. They put they they're, they're pouring they're pouring at Brandy's. Oh not well, I ain't paid. I paid. But five, they're six. pouring they're pouring the cheap liquor into the to the regular bottles. And uh -huh. they're bringing them out. We're like, we need more liquor. I got it. Why do you think we don't never get to go back now, to get the liquor? Now my other favorite drink is Sea Rock. You know, rock. I mean, you know, see, rock, 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 rock. You got Amsterdam, babe. They're and coming in all the same flavors. You know what? Now, Amsterdam just came out. Guess what? Guess what? Let me tell y'all something. Amsterdam. I, I drunk Amsterdam straight shots up here at the studio. That shit don't get me fucked up, period. Oh, it yeah. take me forever. It, it almost like, <laughs> it's like, I put it on a level of pinnacle. It would take me to drink a whole pinnacle bottle. Thanks to Amsterdam, I got through a tattoo. Get, get, <laughs> give me one bottle of trauma and watch what I be doing. Cussing at my mama. Hey, bitch, shit, ho, kill your ass. I know you don't. Anybody that drank a whole bottle of Amsterdam still be talking regular. Like, hey, what's up? What you want to do? But I mean, still. Get somebody a whole bottle of Hennessy. You see what Kanye, Kanye West did? A whole fifth of Hennessy on the. He took the microphone from beyond Taylor Swift. You see what I'm saying? That's liquor. For you to watch when, you can it. when you can drink a whole bottle and then can't control yourself, that's liquor. You know? Yeah. But so, have you ever seen anybody do anything crazy on Amsterdam? No. <laughs> no. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll give a laugh, laugh. So. It's not that strong. It's I not think strong, so. I mean, it still tastes the same. Cause at first so I thought they couldn't trick me with that. Um. The, the peach sea rock, cause it had a distinctive peach taste to it. Nope. So you saying they can use Amsterdam peach? Yep. You know what I'm saying? They got so, what nigga is on the shelf that's high quality that they can't trick us with? Hypnotic. Hypnotic. You, you guess what? You right about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and what else? Because these are some good tips. You know? Um, some of they they've got like a lot of new um absolutes out like blueberry and stuff they really can't trick you with. But a lot of people don't know about them. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna have to have them in Texas. They do. They have Get what? Gin is very distinct. Gin, that not head, is a very distinct I'm sorry, taste. but they're still gonna pour regular the, the cheap gin in there. I know, I know. But I can still fuck with the regular gin, too. So, I can still fuck with it, too. So, listen. Um, Tangeray at Brandy's ain't Tangeray either. <laughs> now, I want to know this before we get ready to get up out of the show. I want to talk about bartender still. I heard that bartender can also still and get over too. Like, clubs have drinks like B5 dollars and bartender will still ask a customer for seven fifty and pocket the $2 in their pocket. So, is that true or is that just a rumor? Because I see a lot of bartenders get fired. Why do bartenders come in? They get switched over so much. Because they get into it. Because uh, the managers, because half of them don't know shit. <laughs> and I hate, are so dumb. I, I hate those bartenders that can't run a full 
bar club. Like, it's about 8,000 people want drinks and they always stuck on one side. Hey, bitch, I'm over here too. It's three sides to the bar, ho. Well, let's see here. Uh, I work a whole bar, so, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but I don't think you'd be so mad. Bar, you know. I have the experience. Too, yeah. So I'm a high capacity bar center. Okay, yeah, you know, so, I mean, so, you know, well, you know, I, I think I pretty much... But I mean, it's really hard for them to, as still, as long as they keep the prices at a set rate, they keep flipping the prices on the customers, but they're flipping them on the bartenders, too. Well, okay, you right. So, you think they should keep the same price? <laughs> right. Okay, gotcha on that one. And they high on the prices they're so, giving. Well, listen, now, to everybody that's watching this interview, interview that's in Mobile, Alabama, you know what I'm saying? When you go to the club, you got to really watch your waitress. If you see your waitress fix your drink and try to do, do that spray, bartender, and try to spray <laughs> that shit... Tell her, no, no, look. Pour that they shit out the bottle. So I mean she need to be pouring your shit out the bottle. And the chaser's still in the spray thing, right? Um, the chasers a lot of the clubs that do have the um spouts. Yeah. The drink guns, there is a water spout on there and if you watch them they'll hit that water on there too to So we gotta watch them for a two button action if possible. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gotta be just when you go out, we trying to avoid for you to get a good drink, so make sure you watch exactly what the bartender is doing, you know what I'm saying? So, you got anything about that you want to shout out before we get them out there, you know? As in? I mean, you know. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite bar clubs you have bought in and what's your worst ones you have bought in? My favorite club, the bartender was Big Daddy's. Big Daddy's. And Daddy's. Solomon's. And Solomon's. I remember Solomon's and Big Daddy's. So, mm -hmm. both of those places are closed at this point. I know it. So, now, do you have any advice for any? Who's got the best bar right now that you think so far in the city? Pure. Pure. And can you name some more? Can you knock them down. Is that the only one? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, you know, I like I like the leaf. I like the leaf. The leaf. I just drank moon there. I only drank. No, no, you brought me a, you brought me a drink there, and it it was good. I, I think I like the leaf. You can tell. Well, I'm working at it. If I'm, if I'm out the change. Yeah, they I got like the leaf. The leaf was all right. Okay. <laughs> so, well, like I said, y'all, this was the bartender version got on wild. I can't stand. But, oh, my father, I know. <laughs> what club you can't stand? Latitude and tag. Oh, latitude and tag. Why you can't and stand? And Brandy's really. Why you can't stand those particular clubs? Latitude. You know, I work at club latitude, but you know. Management. Shout out to my boys latitude out there. Latitude management. They don't know what they're doing. Um, I love Aunt Can't Stand Joel because he is just. I don't think I met Joel yet. Coop. A coop. Oh, that's not like coop. Yes. <laughs> that's coop. I know coop. Anthony is my boy. What's up yes. out there? Shout out to Club Latitude. Love Aunt. Coop but on that but you thing. and coop. Now, I, now, you know, sometimes people lash back out on videos like this, so. I don't care. Because <laughs> if he wants to lash back, I got all kinds of shit to say. Woo! I don't want God Goddamn, so the motherfucking Chris Duff and Coop beef, mate. Oh, <laughs> oh, what you got? No, I don't like him. We're going to we going to dumb way, nigga. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'm just saying, I hope not. You know what I'm saying? I hope he'll just really a, a bartender. But he can lash back if he wants to because he don't want to do that. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I got some shit to get. Bartender's gone wild, dog. Bartender's going wild, you know what I'm saying? So, anybody else? Oh, you, oh, you said uh, tag. What's going on with tag? i never been to tag yet, so I, my first time Man, was going. The, the owner's on some homebook shit, but the, the shit that happened, the dude deserved what he, the fuck he got. <laughs> yeah. The cop did, anyway. Oh. Well, I hit a cop. <laughs> you hit a cop. In, in the clothes, baby. Uh oh. But I was violent. You probably was going to crazy because you were already crazy no. as fuck. Well. No, he got mad because somebody didn't want to talk to him and started capping. And when I went to remove the girl, he capped at me and I hit him. But oh. the manager, since that was the police officer or the owners or whatever, they was on that stupid shit and I will never go back there because, first of all, <laughs> I was on my time doing your stupid haunted house. <laughs> I wasn't getting paid for this shit. <laughs> Did you see what they had me looking like? Oh. Man, the bartenders go through the most out there mobile Alabama, we don't, we you know really what I'm saying? Do, so and they don't I'm trying to work really hard to get y'all y'all drinks. <laughs> Just be patient and, and, and work with them, maybe it'll be there. But I'm out of time right now. I like to thank everybody for tuning in to the Treehouse Talk Show. Y'all make sure y'all tune in next time. You got anything to say about out there? Not really. Yeah. We out of here, nigga. Hey nigga, we go to we go to dumb route, nigga. <laughs> Stupid nigga. <laughs>